Texas. One of the largest states in the US, this incredible location is made up of a huge variety of different biomes, from arid grasslands to tropical forests and a beautiful coastline. Recently, I had the opportunity to explore and film in southeastern Texas, searching for some of the most beautiful and dangerous animals in the area. Surprisingly, our first snake of the trip wasn't found in a wild place, but underneath an old tire at a gas station on the way to our destination. Alright guys, check this out. Now this teensy little snake is a rough fur snake. Now rough fur snakes are a fossil species found in a pretty wide variety of habitats across the eastern US. Now as you can see from the background and hear from the noise, we are in the middle of a pretty urban area. Um, we found this under a tire at a gas station. hide under all kinds of cover. Uh, they'll hide under logs, they'll hide under rocks, and they'll hide under artificial cover. So all this garbage that you can find around gas stations, but especially things like boards that are very flat or tires which are black and hold uh, that heat, these guys will hide under. Now they can actually do quite well in these places. Um, all they really need to survive is that hiding place, uh, dirt that's loose enough for them to burrow in, and invertebrates. These guys feed primarily on invertebrates. But that's just a really cool example of how you really can find wildlife no matter where you are, even in nasty gas station. Very cute little snake. This is exactly where I found this little guy. Right under a tire by a dumpster behind a gas station. You can find wildlife anywhere if you know how to look. Once we arrived at the scrublands and began to hike and flip cover, things really started to pick up. All right guys, check it out. Now this is the black striped snake. One of the more rare species of snake that you can find here in Texas. Now as you can tell by its size, it is a very, very small species. This is a mature individual. Uh, they don't get that much bigger than this, we think. We don't know very much about them because they are so rare, uh, so there's not much information available online or in field guides. However, you can see that they're very beautiful snakes. You have that sunset orange underbelly and the striping uh, on the dorsal half of the body. But these are fossorial snakes, so we found this under a board. Um, what that means is probably most of their lives are spent underground or under cover, um, such as logs, rocks, and artificials. Um, and they just hang out under there during the day probably, hunting lots of invertebrates. This is probably has a very similar ecological niche to things like worm snakes, which we have featured on the channel. But wow, they really are gorgeous little snakes. Super cool find. After such a rare find, we were all in high spirits. But there is one more Texas surprise waiting for us at this location. Alright guys, check it out. Look right here. Hey. Hey. That is a desert patch nose snake. This is a really, really cool species found out here in the southwestern US. And guys, this is a big one. Uh, now, patch nose snakes are semi fossorial snakes which are found all across the southwestern US. Um, they're usually about half the size in the wild and they live a lifestyle similar to other fossorial snakes, although they do eat larger prey because they can get up to this size. Now if I had to guess, I would say this is a large female um, because the max size on these is somewhere between 2 and 3 feet. And as you can see, she's pretty much there and females do tend to get larger than males. But as you can see, this is a very beautifully patterned snake. Uh, patch nose snakes are called patch noses because I'll show you some shots right now of his little nose. He actually has a, a pretty hard scale there, which he'll use to burrow underground. And, um, so these are often found under boards, or mattresses, or just in burrows in the ground. They'll hunt things like small rodents, lizards. They'll even eat snake eggs and lizard eggs. Very opportunistic feeders. These aren't constrictors. Uh, they just kind of find things using their sight and their skill. So it's cloudy and only about 73 degrees out here in the east. And that means that he doesn't have very much solar. And that means that he doesn't have very much solar. 
cooler energy absorbed quite yet. He's not very hot quite yet. But when these guys come up, I've heard they are faster than racers, which is really impressive. So if you do see them down Once again, completely non venomous species. If you see them, you can just admire them from a distance. Or if you're lucky enough, you could even interact with them like this. Absolutely no reason to kill them. Such a gorgeous little snake. Really cute. We'll get it back over here. As you can see on the ground, I mean, covered in grass. It's very natural. And a lot of people think that, that snakes are only found in these crazy natural areas, but really, anywhere where there's cover like this, this is right over here. So this is where we got him from. We're going to put him down in the grass and we'll see how that goes. And if he goes back under that board, or if he doesn't, it doesn't really matter. We'll find a home. Let's see, buddy. Look at that. And you can see in that stripe pattern, as soon as he went in the grass, he completely disappeared. So that's just a really cool snake to show you guys. What an awesome animal. Well, everyone, that's all for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about some neat Texas snakes. There will be plenty more Texas videos coming out over the next few months, so definitely stay tuned for more Lone Star Wildlife. If you did enjoy this video, it would be great if you could leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more educational wildlife content. Thank you so much everyone, and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno, of The Wild Report, signing out.